Sanjay, you've been invited in here today to talk about Feature Camp 2018, a new release. What's in the release and how is it going to benefit your customers? So we've made some significant improvements to the user interface as well as a, a list of new features and improvements. I think the most notable change for users is going to be the implementation of a new ribbon which really enhances the look and feel of the software. So rather than having a static toolbar with just an icon, users will now see an icon, accompanying text and dynamic help, giving them visibility and insight really into the function that they're about to click on. When you say dynamic, do you mean a video or text? No, so when a user hovers their mouse over a certain icon within the ribbon, it, they'll get a pop-out which will be enriched with text, giving them more insight to what that particular piece of functionality does. Um, and we've categorized the ribbon into similar groupings as well. So we'll see like for like features and similar groupings to really simplify and speed up programming. And that was based on some analysis we did with existing users. And what's nice is we have in-product analytics so that we can see how users continue to interact with FeatureCam and continually improve the software from a user experience point of view. Um, one other thing that's really important is that the ribbon's totally customizable so that um, our customers and new users can create their preferred working environment. That's great. So from an analytics point of view, you can analyze what's being used and what's not being used and maybe give them advice and some guidance. Exactly. We can prioritize which features we kind of enlarge, which features we minimize, and reorder the layout to create an optimal working environment. Um, also, in addition to the user experience that's uh, been enhanced, we also have a bunch of new features. So we now have the ability to automatically calculate an optimal angle for parallel finishing. That will help create the perfect orientation for a toolpath to minimize tool retracts and help users create these type of toolpaths faster. Now, when working in three plus two positional or five axis positional, we also have automatic orientation. So the software has the capability to determine from the machine tool's axis limits, whether it's working in a standard or alternate position. So that will help verify program is correct before a program is sent to the machine. All about productivity again. That's it. You've got to go back to productivity for the user, and that's what it's all about. And in line with that, we've also enhanced our capabilities in Swiss slave programming. So we've added the simulation and programming of superposition, uh, including double-ended drilling, for feature cam users uh, with Swiss type lays when they really want to synchronize their machine and reduce their cycle time. Any more updates? Yeah. So in addition to feature cam, as we repackage the products from August 1st, Partmaker is now included in FeatureCam Ultimate. So we've also made additions to Partmaker 2018. Uh, well, one of the largest enhancements for, for the 2018 release is the ability to program Swiss type lays that have integrated laser cutting capabilities. Um, and these machines are becoming more popular in the market and they allow more intricate cutting results. Also for Partmaker, we've included, in addition to index and rotary broaching, keyway broaching, which is popular for production runs. Um, we've also made some enhancements to setup sheets. Users will be able to see a 3D simulated part, even in offline mode, um, and they'll be able to rotate that part and see, as they work their way down through operations and their setup sheet, how that simulated part looks at each stage. Um, and finally, with Partmaker, we've made some good enhancements to the toolpath verification. So now you have the ability to pause, rewind, and show your tool shank during toolpath verification. So it's all about productivity. But another exciting thing, you've changed your business model, and there's a very low barrier to entry, isn't there? That's right. We've moved to a subscription model, which is actually really exciting for us because we've got some great things to offer our new prospects and customers. Um, as you mentioned, there's a lower upfront cost, uh, which essentially means uh, customers and prospects are able to reuse their allocated budget, whether they want to invest that in additional software technology, maybe they want to increase their hardware capabilities by maybe investing um, in an additional access for a machine tool, maybe get additional tooling, maybe upgrade to shrink fit tool holders, um, or enhance work holding. It gives them that flexibility to essentially 
invest more money up front in a wider range of solutions that will get them a quicker return on investment. And that's really what it's all about. Also for subscription, you're getting more flexibility. As customers notice higher or lower project demands, they might, might see changes in their staffing, they can ramp up or ramp down uh, their software as needed through short-term contracts. And really, the, the key piece to all of this is that Autodesk is taking a lot of the risk. Um, because we, customers have a lower upfront investment, uh, because they have shorter term contracts, it really puts the onus on us to get things right in the first place, um, to keep from really not just selling products, but where we're focused in building great relationships with our customers.